Hey, Michelle Cedarberg here with another pajama perspective some three weeks in to this whole self-isolation thing. I hope that you and your family are well mentally, physically, and emotionally, and that you are getting through this with as much positivity as we can muster in these crazy times. My pajama perspective today actually has to do with pajamas. I don't know about you, but I'm, I've been spending a little more time in them than I care to admit. Uh, and I saw a meme on social media, media the other day that said 9 p.m. is the time of day when you change from your daytime pajamas into your nighttime pajamas. Now, if you can relate to that, I want to share a perspective that will hopefully help you be more positive and productive throughout the day. If you find yourself spending too much time in comfy clothes, get up every single day and, and put a little bit of attention into your self-care. It's a lot easier to do when you're getting up to prepare to go out into the world to do work, to meet with your coworkers and colleagues and family and friends. But when we're at home, it's really easy to skip brushing hair, or brushing teeth in my husband's case, and, and not even getting dressed. Well, that can often depress our energy and make us less likely to jump into to tasks that we have in front of us with enthusiasm. So let's see. <laughs> wow, that was quick. And you know what? I, I actually feel better. And as you notice, I'm not dressed in my work clothes or my high heels. Who has time for that anyways? But as you're heading into each day, simple little things like brushing your hair, brushing your teeth, putting on some makeup if you're a gal, keeping your facial hair trim if you're a guy. Uh, I said my husband is uh, threatening to grow that COVID-19 beard. I do not need that unless it's nice and tidy. So do the little things that you can for yourself every single day to feel a little bit more human as we navigate this self-isolation. I'm Michelle Cedarberg reminding you that you've got one chance to do this life. I say dare to live it big and dare to do it with a little bit of attention to self-care, especially now when there's absolutely nobody to see you except your family and maybe your dog, and your cats, or waving to your neighbors through the window or zooming to your family across the country or across the city. <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. <laughs>